Commit your works to the 
world. Even if you begin to do your best on certain works, in the meantime, you feel like inadequate or even like a failure. You consider them seriously or worry about the works, but don't worry about them, but just commit them to the Lord. The Lord is doing the best through you by the Holy Spirit. For example, Moses and Peter. Exodus 4, 10, 12. Then Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before it nor since you have spoken to your servants, but I am slow to speak and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to him, Who has made a man's mouth, or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind, have not I, the Lord? Now therefore go and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you will say. Jeremiah 1, 6 to 17 said, I, our Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Jeremiah, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you shall speak. Just commit it. That's it. Your thoughts will be established. Your thoughts within the scope of God's will shall down properly. First of all, question to you. The Lord has made all for himself. The Lord has done so not only for himself, but also for his uh, pleasure. So, all creatures have his good purpose. If you live to please yourself, you will always have a sense of unfulfillment in life. Your life will always be empty or vanity. But if you live to please God, your life will be very rich, content, joyful, and happy because God created you for his pleasure. Revelation 411. You are worthy. O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. This is 24 hours to speak to the Lord. So, all you know, honor and glory ascribe to the Lord. For you create all things, and by your will, they exist and were created. Even the wicked people to fulfill his good purpose. Even the wicked for the day of doom or for the day evil. God uses even evil doom works of the wicked people to fulfill his good purpose. For example, Joseph sold by his brothers, Jesus betrayed by Judas his priest. The problem is that with the finite people don't understand the infinite God's purpose completely. But we can live by faith that he is omniscient, omniscient, all loving, unconditional love, all loving, and perfectly good, and that ultimately God will terminate it, the wicked or evil people. Although God uses them for his good purpose in the meantime, Genesis 50 20. But as for you, you meant the evil against me. But God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. That is Joseph says so. James 1 13 17. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For because God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does himself tempt anyone. 17. Every good, 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 not bad, good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom there will be no variation or a shadow of a turning, no darkness at all. Now verse 5. Everyone proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. The pride is the state of mind. The proud man thinks that 
he or she is the best that also their uh, help is not needed. It is uh, resisting the supreme of God to help. Often the proud people don't know that the prize is a problem. Although any people want the proud people acknowledge it. <laughs> When we see God or experience God in the spirit of Lara, we actually see ourselves. And so we become the poor people. Supreme and become humble. Matthew 5 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. For example, Isaiah Peter, Isaiah 6 1 5. In the year King Musa died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lift up, and the train he rock built the temple. So in Isaiah saw the Lord then, Isaiah responds, so I said, Word to me, so bad, so, to, so sorry to me, for I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Luke 5, 8, when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees and said, So it, depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O oh Lord. So whenever you see your heart it becomes the humble, become the uh, becomes uh, the poor in the spirit. Though they join forces or hand in hand, hand is a hand non unconscious. None will go unpunished. Although all proud accomplished shall be punished, none unpunished means double negative is positive shall be punished. Verse 6 In mercy and truth, atonement is provided for inequity. Due to God's mercy and truth, your inequity is forgiven. Because the truth tells us much wrong, what's sin or why. And the mercy is to forgive and comfort you. Uh, and by the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. The one who has the holy fear of the good Lord departs from evil. Verse 7 When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. To please the Lord, you may become a peacemaker, called as the sons of God. So, the works for peace making may be attractive to your neighbors, even your enemies. Matthew 5 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the, son of, the sons of God. We say, bury the leader with righteousness. Then, vast revenues without justice. The righteous, or the people who live by faith, even with a little revenues, a little strength, or material poverty, are better than the unjust, or the unrighteous people, with the material richness. Spiritually minded church is better than carnally minded church. For example, Philadelphia Church, First Laodicea Church, and the latter is the poor man versus the rich man. Revelation chapter uh, 3 8. I know your works, Philadelphia Church. I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Philadelphia Church. Like a Calvin Chapel and I'm here, like a Philadelphia Church in the last day. 
Verse 17, now this is a church. It's kind of remind me to reach, much rich church. Because you say, I am rich, much rich. I have become worthy and have need of nothing. And do not know you are wretched, good chance, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. So, yeah. another example, Lucas 16, 23, 24, poor people, with uh, 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 poor person uh, who believed in the Lord. Uh, and being in torment in Hades, he lived up the rich guy, he died and so Abraham above and Lazarus right here in his bosom, Abraham's bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have a mercy on me and send the Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this form. <clears throat> Verse 9, a man's heart plans his way. He can plan his way either to please himself or to please God on his heart. But the Lord directs his steps. I may divide my plans, but in the final outcome, God will work out his plan. God is in control. God is a sovereign of all of our lives. Verse 10, divination is on the lips of the king. Divination, divine sentence is on the lips of the king. This yes, king understands that he is ruled by God, that he acknowledges his instrument. Otherwise, it is a big problem over today's government because a ruler does not seek his work. His mouth must not transgress in judgment. He represents God so that he doesn't violate the judgment which God wants. Verse 11, the honest weights and skills are the Lord's skills. That is a just weight and balance the Lord. A balance or a skill is uh, used as a symbol for justice or honest. All the ways in the bad are his work. Don't cheat the scale balance. God wants justice honest in our business practices. Verse 12, it is an abomination for a king to commit wickedness because he or kings are his instruments hating wickedness for a throne is established by righteousness. Verse 13, righteous lips are the delight of kings and they love him who speaks what is right. Kings, the instrument of God, are pleased with the righteous words, loving the righteous man. Verse 14, as messengers of death, is the king's wrath, but a wise man will appease it. A king has the power to hold the death power to people because of his anger. For example, Esther, not called by a king at the risk of death, Esther 4, 16. Go, Esther, gather all the Jews who are present in Shusha. Uh, capital city of Prussia and fast for me, neither eat uh, nor drink for three days, neither a day. My maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law at risk of life. Uh, and if I perish, I perish. Like a cloud of the latter rain. This king is his 
instrument that is light is illuminated by God's light. It gives light. His favor or grace is like a ready raining cloud for autumn harvest. Verse 16, how much better to get wisdom than gold and to get understand is to be chosen rather than silver. Inward things are more valuable than our things. All wisdom and understanding come from the knowledge of God, the word of God, which not passes away, but heaven and earth, including gold and silver, will pass away. Matthew 24, 25. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means or never pass away. Note, wisdom is developed from understanding. The understanding is developed uh, from knowledge. So wisdom is gold, understanding is silver. Verse 17, the highway of the upright, the person who is right up to God, or lives up to God, is the way to avoid evil. Equally, a right depart from uh, uh, evil. He who keeps his ways preserves his soul. To keep his way from perversity is to protect his soul. Verse 18 Pride goes before destruction, and the haughty spirit before fall. Pride or haughty spirit doesn't need the God's control, but all. Neighbors, all lives are in his control. God resists the pride. James 4 6. He gives more grace, therefore he says, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Verse 19 Better is it to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide your soul with the proud. Because God gives a favor to the humble people, resisting the proud people. Verse 20, he who hears the word wisely will find it good. And whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. When your knowledge of the word of God is understood and applied by the Spirit, it is called wisdom, which is good because non-applicable knowledge would be useless. So, to search, study, every hidden word is the best way to be wise. We have trust in the Lord happy. The word of God is the seed of a faith. Trust because of the faith by hearing of the word. When you live by faith, you may hope of eternal life with the Lord, which causes a joyful, happy life in the present time. Romans 10, 17. So then peace comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Verse 21, the wise in heart will be called prudent, and sweetness of the lips increases learning. The wise person in heart is called a prudent, wise, or discerning man. The sweet words from his lips promote teaching. Verse 22, understanding is a wellspring of life to him. His understanding, the known word of God, is continually giving the well applicable to his life. Giving the well applicable to his life because the word of God is living and powerful. It will support well. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharp again and to act is a sword piercing even to the division of the soul support and of joints and marrow and the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Who has it? But the question of the fools of a folly. A fool says there is no God in his heart. So he is easily persuaded to believe almost everything or so gullible 
So the proof instruction correction is a folly. For example, they worship creatures, men, women, cow, plant, mouse, dead body, and so on. The works uh, of a man's hands, or uh, wood and stone, sculptures, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. Psalm 41. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are crops. They have done a bond of words. There is none who does it good. To run for twenty. And they you will serve God, the works of man's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. Verse 23, the heart of the wise teaches his mouth. The wise man teaches his word to be applicable or wisely, not mechanically. And as learning to his uh, life, by teaching also he learns more. words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. The pleasant words are like a word in good season, how good it is. Like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healthy to the bones. Psalm 119, 103, how sweet are the words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Proverbs 23, a man has joy by the answer of his mouth, and the word is spoken in due season. How good it is! How good it is! Verse 25, there is a way that seems right to a man, but it's the end, it's, it's the way of death. Because a man doesn't know what is going on. In the future, the light of omniscient God. Verse 26, the person who labors, labors uh, for himself, for his hungry mouth drives him on. Hunger causes a hungry person to work hard to satisfy his hunger. 27, an ungodly man digs up evil and it is on his lips like a burning fire. The ungodly man is looking around to dig up evil with his vicious words. 20. A perverse man sows a strike, flower the perverse, and a strike. Unreasonable man or a crooked man causes disputes. And the whisperer separates the best of a friends. A just or a gossiper separates best of friends. Ephesians 5 4. Neither fitness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. 29. A violent man entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. A violent man misleads his neighbor into such a way as a violence with physical force or weapon, which is not good. Verse 30, he winks his eyes to divide perverse things. The violent man, like a gangster, instructs crooked things by his wink. He pursues by his lips and brings about evil, and by evil mouth. As well. 31. The silver haired head in the crown of glory if it is found in the way of righteousness. Holy silver hair. The silver hair implies a long life. The righteous man has had many experiences with the Lord during his long life close to his glorification with the Lord forever. That's a crown of glory. 
32. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who loses his spirit, then he will take the city. The man to slow anger is better than the powerful man, the ruler of his spirit, or the self controller is better than a conqueror of a city. James 1.19. So then, my beloved brother, let every man be shifted to hear, slow to speak, slow to write. 33. The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. To cast the lot into the lap, or draw the lot from the lap, press the plate or box, had been used to seek the will of God before the Holy Spirit came on the Pentecost. For example, high priest breast plate over the two stones, Joshua to find the altar. The evil man divided by pieces of land to tribes, people to choose a king, people to choose an absent apostle. Let's hear clearly chapter 8, verse 8. Did he put high priest breast plate on him? He put the ruling and two men in the breastplate. Joshua seven forty. In the morning therefore you shall be brought to according to your tribe. And it shall be that the tribe which the Lord takes shall come according to the families. The family which the Lord takes shall come by household. And the household which the Lord takes shall come man by man. Joshua fourteen two. The inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and the half tribe. First Samuel ten twenty one. When he had caused the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their family, the family of Matri was a children, and Saul, the son of Kish, was a children. But when they saw him, he could not be found. So who of Acts one twenty six and they cast their lots and the law fell on Matthias and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. They acted the spirit to God the casting lot in all things in Christ. The spirit has directed church or Christians in a very powerful way, who were out to one pope. When the day of Pentecost had a full calm, they were all with one accord in one place. And they are uh, all filled with Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. That is the evidence of the Holy Spirit, because that is one gift. John fourteen twenty six. But the help, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all things that I say to you. Ephesians one ten. That is uh, dispensation. That in the dispensation of fullness of times or just he might get together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in heaven. So. We covered all the questions, let's sing all together uh, the last